Welcome to MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to take a look at even and odd functions. So in the first section, we'll have the definition of an even function. In the second section, we'll have the definition of an odd function. In the third section, we'll look at visually how to determine if it's even or odd function. And then in the last section, our fourth section, we'll determine how to use algebra to find out if it's an even or odd function. All right, let's get started. Let's talk about the definition of an even function. When we look at this equation, f of negative x is equal to f of x, this describes the relationship that has to exist in order for the function to be described as being even. All right, so it's a very small looking equation and, or a relationship and it, you're wondering what it means and how does this apply to the uh, to, to a function. Well, let's first just try to understand what the symbols mean here. Uh, what it means is if we actually put in some real numbers is if I put in a function, if I put a value like let's say negative 3 inside a function, if it's an even function, the function will report back the same answer even if I put in 3. So if f of negative 3 is the same thing as f of 3, it's a function. It's got to work for all x values. So if f of 2, if I put in 2 inside of the function, that's equal to f of negative 2. That's going to be an even function. So every time I put some value inside a function, it's going to be equal to the same value if I put the opposite x value inside the function. Okay, we'll talk about what this means in future sections. All right, let's get to our next definition. All right, in this section, we're going to talk about what an odd function is. So an odd function is one that behaves according to this equation. If f of negative x is equal to the same thing as the opposite of f of x. All right, what does that mean? That means if you put in a value like, let's say, negative 2 inside a function and you evaluate it and it turns out that the answer is going to be the same thing as is if you put in 2 inside the function but it's the opposite that's really what this means okay let's try that one more time just so you can kind of get an idea of what this means let's say we put in f of uh, or I should say we put in the value negative 5 inside a function we evaluate it and we get some answer. If the answer is the same thing as if we put in 5 inside the function, but the opposite of that, that's what the an odd function is. Okay, this is kind of thick. Let's talk about visually what that means in our next section. In this next section, we're going to talk about visually. What does it mean to have these odd and even descriptors? All right, well, let's pull up a picture of a function. So here I have the graph of y equals x squared shown, and we're going to talk about whether this is even or odd. Well, if you look at what happens when you put in 2 in the function, you'll see we have 2 right here, and when we figure out what's the y value, you can see it intersects the graph right up here at a 4. So when x is 2, y is 4. Uh, okay, then let's look what happens when we put a negative 2 inside the function. So over here we have negative 2. What's the y value? So if we go up until we hit the graph, we can see here it's at positive 4. And this so far fits the description of what an even function is. It says that if you put in a value, it's equal to some answer, 4 in this case. Like if you put in 2, you get 4. But if you put in the opposite of that value, so if I put in the opposite, so instead of putting in 2, I put in negative 2, but then I get the same exact value. So what does that mean? When I put in 1, I get 1. When I put in its opposite, negative 1, I also get 1. That means there's a lot of symmetry here, and that means there's symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So if you have a function that is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, you have an even function. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so here I have uh, an equation which has been graphed. 
This is the equation y equals the quantity x plus 1 squared. All right, so let's determine. Does this have symmetry with respect to the y-axis? Well, if you look here, no, it doesn't look like the right side here. It looks like the left side. So therefore, it's not an even function. It doesn't have the symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Well, let's see, is it an odd function then? So uh, let's see, if I put in 1, it looks like my answer is, yeah, it looks like about 4, right, when I put in 1. Now, an odd function is if I put in the opposite of 1, or in other words, negative 1, then my answer won't be 4, it'll be the opposite, it'll be negative 4. So when I put in negative 1, oh, I'm getting 0 right here. So this isn't even an, it's not an odd function either. So this particular parabola is neither even nor odd. Okay, let's take a look at another example. So this is the equation y equals x cubed. It's a cubic. So let's take a look at it. Let's determine is this even or is it odd? Or is it neither? So when we put in the value 1, it looks like I'm getting 1. If it's even, it's going to ha have symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So that means if I put in 1, I get 1. If I put in negative 1, I should get 1. Nope, that's not happening. So it's not even. Uh, is it odd? Well, if I put in 1, I get 1, according to this graph. And if it is odd, when I put in negative 1, I should get the opposite of this 1 value. I should get negative 1. Let's see, if I put in negative 1, it looks like I'm, yep, I'm getting negative 1 for an answer. So this is what a odd function looks like. And it, it is. If I took more values, I would see the same uh, situation. Well, uh, this is definitely not a situation where you have symmetry with respect to the y-axis. That's even. So the visual difference is that you have symmetry, symmetry with respect to the origin. Okay, what does that mean? It means it's rotational symmetry. That means it's almost like you rotate this graph 180 degrees. And if you did, if you rotated the graph 180 degrees, this right branch would lie right on top of this red branch. And you would see that you would have that overlapping situation, which makes it odd. Okay, so hopefully we're starting to see the difference visually now with uh, the difference between even and odd functions. So let's take a look at one more example. All right, this is the equation y equals x cubed minus 1. All right, so um, let's see. Is it even or is it, is it odd? So over here, I've got the value 1 for x, and it looks like the y value is 0. So that means if I go over to negative 1, I should also have 0 if it's even. Nope, it's not. Okay, so let's see if it's odd. So over here I got at 1 for x, the y value is 0. So if I put in negative 1, I should get the opposite of 0, which would still be 0. Nope, I don't have that either. So it doesn't even have this other situation where you have rotational symmetry with respect to the origin. So it's neither. It's neither even nor odd. Let's take a look at some trigonometric examples. So this is the equation y equals cosine of x. So let's determine, is this even or odd? Well, see the symmetry with respect to the y-axis? I could tell right away, and you should be able to tell right away. If there's symmetry here, then you know that it is even. All right, that was easy. Let's go on to the next one. One more trigonometric function. So this is a trigonometric function, and the its equation is not easily uh, communicated so uh, but let's just take a look at it and from what we could see here um, it looks like as I go to the right I've got to go down to like what looks like about a, at a half if it's even if I went over to negative 180 I'd also have to go down to about negative a half right there'd be the symmetry with respect to the y-axis there isn't any so it's not even so let's take a look at the other situation does it look like it has rotational symmetry across the origin and yes, it does. It looks like it does. Or think of it this way. When I put in 180, I'm getting it about negative a half, give or take, right? Give it negative a half. So that means when I put in negative 180, I should get positive a half, give or take. Yep, and it looks like that's what's happening. So I'm, I'm seeing the 
uh, equations starting to match and it's starting to match the visual representation. So in the next section, let's talk about how to deal with this algebraically. All right, so here's our last section. We're gonna talk about how we could use algebra to determine if it's even or odd. All right, so what you do for this function, and, and yes, it is a function, we can put f of x here as well, and that's what a lot of textbooks will look like. You'll see this x here like this. Um, okay, so we have a 2x squared minus 5. So this is how it looks and in function notation. So what happens when we put in negative x? So in other words, I'm going to put in a minus x and replace all of these x's with negative x. Okay, so you go back to the original function, which there's the original function, and I'm going to replace this x with a negative x. And then mathematically, we're going to determine what happens. Okay, so all I did is replace this x with negative x. All right, so what's the outcome? Well, let's see. If I take negative x and square it, that means negative x times negative x, and that's equal to x squared. All right, now we've got our simplified answer. So what we want to do now is determine does this look exactly like the original? Yep, it does. So since it looks exactly like the original, we say that this is an even function. Okay, there you go. There's an example of an even function. If for some reason we did this work and, and we got the opposite, it would have said negative 2x squared plus 5. If it was the complete opposite, that would have told us that it was an odd function. Okay, so anyway, now we know what an even function looks like and how to determine it mathematically. Let's try another one. So let's say we put 3x cubed. It's a little glitchy today. Minus 5x squared. Okay, so again, remember that this is function. Uh, I could write this into function notation by putting uh, an f of x there. Alright, so let's try the same test that we did before. So let's replace the x with negative x and let's see what happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace this. Let's see, 3, uh, okay, it's going to be a negative x. This is going to be a negative x. All right, let's clean up. So if you have negative x cubed, negative x times negative x times negative x, that's negative x times 3. So that turns out to be negative 3x cubed. Okay, let's take negative x and square it. So negative x times negative x is positive x squared. So I get positive x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. All right, now if this is exactly like the original, it's even. Nope. Let's see, that's negative 3. That's positive 3. Nope, it's not exactly like the original. If it's completely the opposite, it's going to be an odd function. Let's see. This is positive 3. This is negative. Okay. Here's negative. That's negative. Oh, that's not opposite. So it's not an odd function. So this one you would label as neither. It is neither even nor odd. And that's how you do these problems. And that's how you use the algebra to determine if it's even or an odd function. All right, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our other uh, instructional videos and our interactive quizzes and text-based lessons. Take care.